We're finally back with another Solana NFT video. I have been absent for close to a month now. Sorry for that. It's pretty much just because I've been traveling a bit. It's also been the holidays, of course, that I wanted to take some time off, as well as the fact that the market hasn't been like super interesting these last few months, except for like during this new year. 2023 has been really fun for the market so far. So I'm really excited to get back on the content grind for you guys. And we have a really exciting video today where we have some undervalued Solana NFT projects because there's a lot of money opportunities in the market right now a lot of floor prices are pumping it's kind of been an airdrop season with like franc and bonk token a lot of people made a lot of money from that and a lot of those profits are circulating back into nft projects which makes a lot of the floor prices pump and there are a lot of ways to make money in the market right now so we have some undervalued projects today that i'm excited for in addition to all of that solana has also been pumping by the way we did reach a low of like nine dollars right now it is back to 16 which is really nice to see basically a 2x from the lows so that is really really cool with that said remember to like and subscribe enough chit chat let's just dive straight in to the first project all right the first project that we're going to take a look at today is mindfolk because they are coming out with the renaissance they are kind of changing up their project a little bit they're simplifying it and personally i'm here for it i'm really excited for it obviously you have probably heard about mindfolk they were kind of one of the biggest blue chips like a few months ago but some things went south uh their project didn't really do too well and as you may have heard they did lose basically their entire treasury in the FTX scam pretty much they lost most of the treasury when FTX went down which obviously must have been devastating for the team and most teams in the situation I feel like would have just given up but the Mindfolk team is not giving up they're still motivated and driven to continue working on Mindfolk and the Renaissance basically the way they explain the Renaissance from the Mindfolk perspective is to bridge art tech and community using our experience to grow within the web3 space with our community of innovators and early adopters the Renaissance is simplification, unification, truly unique IP and community empowerment. It is simplification because what they're basically doing is um, making all of their collections into one main collection instead because previously they did have like a total of five different collections I believe but what they're doing now is basically collecting all of those collections into one main mindful collection instead except for one collection called the Mindlinks so they will basically have a total of two collections the founders which is the um, original mindful collection and the Mindlinks. Now if we head over to Magic Eden to the Mindfolk collections page. This is basically what it looks like right now. So we do have the Mindlinks collection still, but the two other collections are just these capsules. So you have a mint capsule, which guarantees you a mint, and you have the whitelist capsules. The mint capsules is currently sitting at a floor price of eight Solana. So a lot of people are excited for their upcoming new collection. Basically the way these capsules work are that they turn all their collections into these capsules. Capsules can be traded until 24 hours before the mint date, which is the end of January. Uh, you have the tier one, which is the previous founders collection. So a tier one capsule gives you two NFTs in the Renaissance. It gives you the original founder that the capsule was before, which is the original mindful collection, plus a free mint of the new art. And then you have tier two, which is the boats. Tier two capsules gives you two NFTs as well. Both of these are free mints for the new art on mint date. And you have tier three, which is the old pirates and cabins collection. This gives you one free mint on the mint date. Then you have the pre-sale capsules. Tier four gives you one mint for the new art on mint date. They also add perks to tiers one, two, and three. And then you have the previous Dukes of Folk Town collection. And this basically provides you a guaranteed whitelist. They have also broken all of this down in a video right here they have a lot of videos explaining what they are doing moving forward on their twitter so i definitely recommend checking that out so as i said they are kind of bridging all of their old collections into one new collection with updated mindfolk art so i'm really excited for it and what they are building in the future and talking about what they are building in the future this is basically the way they explain it so welcome to the new mindfolk we're an og solana collection being reborn into a powerful web3 collective that mind is a revolution we believe in empowering holders and builders like no one has ever done before governed 100% on chain with or gamified system. But there's more. The first proposal is State of One, a Web3 art agency and gallery onboarding artists into Solana. So this is the first thing that they will be building as long as the community allows it or like votes for it. This is basically the State of One website. So they have already started working on cool stuff. And these are basically the mint details. So they are minting on Magic Eden on January 31st. We'll be working on cool protocol pioneering features plus joint marketing plans with them. The price is 
30 to 40 percent above the pre-sale price which is around 80 to 100 dollars 4,000 going to holders 1,000 went to pre-sale 5,000 for actual minting so the total supply will be 10,000 and they have special plans for all OG holders and all previous art and another cool thing they are creating is mindful connect basically mindful connect is leveling up the minting experience start earning wood right away and claim rewards as you embark on your quest to the new mindful basically if you go to this website connect.mindfolk.art you can apply for whitelist for their upcoming mint so definitely do that but overall mindful is really interesting i'm rooting for a big comeback for this collection i really hope their new mint is successful so mindful is the first project into this video moving on to project number two we have blocksmith labs i think blocksmith labs right now is massively undervalued they're sitting at 92 solana right now i recently picked one up myself maybe i'll pick up another one only 82 listed these guys have been sitting at like 90 to 100 solana for quite a while and i feel like these guys are just like waiting for a big pump obviously I can't predict the future, you never know. But these guys are like one of the, if not the like biggest builders in the Solana NFT space. So this is such an obvious bet in my personal opinion, not financial advice, of course. Creators of Smiths, Mercury, Bifrost, Shift, Raven, and Forge. And then the future of Blocksmith Labs, what's coming. In the next few months, we will work on these projects in no particular order. So they have Project Atlas, Custom Merch, Lossless Lottery, whatever that is, and they have Project 2. So these guys are just continuous working on cool sh and I'm here for it. I'm super excited for the future of Blocksmith Labs. The most recent thing they did was launch the V2 of their Raven platform and it looks really good. I haven't gotten to try it too much personally, but I'm really excited to try it out. This is essentially what it looks like. It's like a gamified marketing and uh, engagement platform and it seems like it's working really well because these are the tweets that are currently live and I've checked some of the engagements on some of these tweets and it seems to be working really well. Basically the way it works is that um, the community can earn rewards from engaging with these different tweets and as you can see the engagement is looking really good on like all of these tweets so it must be working so that's just the most recent thing they did updated the raven platform but they're doing so many cool things so i'm really excited for this project i can easily see blocksmith labs go to like 200 sol and way above that as well so smiths is just an obvious pickup in my opinion at these levels not financial advice now next up i kind of wanted to mention vandal city because they've been kind of quiet recently but i think that means that right now could be a good buying opportunity before they start pushing out their new uh, roadmap and their new plans for 2023. I was recently in Bali where uh, Shax, the co-founder of Vandal City, also was. So I ended up talking quite a bit with him. And I can just tell that he has so many plans for Vandal City and I'm just bullish on the team behind this one. They're currently sitting at 4.7 Solana. Obviously, they did do their art upgrade. And the reason I kind of wanted to mention this in this undervalued NFT video was because, as I said, they've been kind of quiet recently. Recently, they haven't done like too much publicly, but Solana Berries, Shackled, Evo, Ted, and the rest of the Vandals crew have been debating for months what route is next, constantly changing plans and scrapping ideas. We believe we have found our Q1 2023 release plans and are actively working to begin getting it out piece by piece. So I just feel like these guys have a lot going on in the background that they will start announcing in the next few weeks and months. And I'm just bullish on the team behind this one. So that's why I think Vandal City could be a decent buying opportunity around these levels. Also, I did want to quickly mention Bohemia. As you may remember, I was a massive fan of Bohemia back in the days, like when they minted and for the first few months, but then their entire project kind of just slowed down and I'm pretty sure they ended up rugging. But right now, they have been kind of de-rugged, a new team has taken over and I'm pretty excited for it because I still hold my Bohemias. They have already pumped back from like one or two Solana up to 6.4 right now. Obviously, I don't know exactly what this new team have planned or like how capable they are, but I just wanted to mention it because I'm really excited for this one personally. And I really hope Bohemia can have an amazing D-Rug story moving forward. So big shout out and massive luck to the team that took over the Bohemia project. Last but not least, we had to give a big shout out to the two homies, Jersey and Cody on chain. Cody obviously working his ass off on bet three is looking really good, sitting at 3.45 Solana, over 50,000 Solana in traded volume as well. And I know that they have a lot of interesting things coming up in 2023 as well. Same with experiments, currently sitting at five Solana. This has already been 
a really big comeback story. They obviously were not able to sell out their entire uh, collection, so they had to lower their supply. They had like a floor price of 0.5 Solana at one point, but Jersey has just been grinding with his team and they're right now back at 5 Solana with over 10,000 Solana in traded volume as well. And just over a month ago, Jersey released their new roadmap as well. They have some updates on missions. They are creating a SaaS marketplace. They're also coming out with their own casino. Experiments will be releasing their very own casino, bringing even more value to the project and its holders. They have merchandise coming. They have updates to laboratories. They do also have IRL events. We know that NFT NYC is coming up in April. Hopefully they're able to do like a big event there. I hope I'll be able to go. I haven't booked any tickets or anything yet, but you might see me at NFT NYC. So Experiments is doing a lot of cool things and I'm just bullish on Jersey. Same with Cody because I know that they're two super hardworking individuals. Like Cody's last announcement just says it all. There's a reason I've been a bit more quiet and slow with things lately and I finally get to announce it within the next 10 days. So this should be coming up in just the next few days. We are upgrading big for 2023 with Bet3. We got some additions, changes, partnerships that will be addressed soon. Bear with us in the meantime, but this is the most excited I've been about what we're building. So a lot of cool things coming for Bet3 as well that I'm really excited for. And those were pretty much the projects that we had in this video. I'm really excited about all of these projects covered. If I missed anyone, if you know about any undervalued Solana projects that I should feature in my next video, let me know down in the comment section and I will take a look. Now, as I said, I will be doing more consistent Solana NFT content moving forward. I hope you're excited for it. If you enjoyed the video and got any value from it, as always, smash a like, subscribe down below. With that said, the links to all of these projects covered in today's video is down below in the description. Make sure you check them out. Now, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.